In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use Inkscape to create the Barack Obama logo. The first thing we need to do is set up the background to the right color. This tutorial is really going to go into some of the basics of Inkscape. We want to go to File and Document Properties. Within the Document Properties, you'll find all sorts of switches and properties to change. We're going to stay on the first page and we want to click landscape which changes the view from a portrait so it's longer it's like a widescreen effect that's what we want and also we have the background color up here I've chosen the wheel I find this easier for me but you can choose the RGB HSL CMYK I'm gonna stick with the wheel with the wheel it's pretty simple to understand the outer circle will allow you to pick your root color and within the triangle you'll be able to pick your specific color within it now the background's not changing that's because the pat the alpha is zero so we want to turn it all the way up to 255 and now we can get that that deep navy blue of Barack Obama's um, logo. That seems about right. So we'll just close it. And now everything seems to be up to par, but we do need a few objects, which are palettes that control the object. We will go to Object, and we want to bring out Fill and Stroke. which opens up the fill and stroke options we also want to go back to object and bring up align and distribute and they are on top of each other so you can scroll down to see both of these palettes you just brought in and last but not least we need the layers which you will find in layer Layer is kind of squished, so we'll go in between a line distribution, and you'll see that the mouse turns into this this dragging to extend the size of the layer. We're on layer one, and what we want to do is create a circle. So we'll go over here to create the circle, and we'll draw one by holding Control. It, it adds a lock to your shape. Now this is going to be the size of our logo. And we're going to use the line tool now to center it horizontally and below here is to insert it vertically. So now it's horizontally and vertically centered. This is exactly what we want this is the outer white of Barack Obama's logo you want to add a new layer and we will name this layer blue or better yet we'll name it sky and we'll lock the first layer that we created and we'll go back to the circle tool making sure that the sky layer is selected and we'll draw another circle holding control to get that lock to change the color we can do two things we can either access the colors that are represented below or we can go to the stroke and fill that we brought up and here is the wheel and I'll move it to a blue that I think is about right for the logo. A little bit of playing around you can find that exact color. And we want to align it using the line tool. We want to center it horizontally and vertical. Vertically. I'm going to press shift plus so I can get a better view on it. And this the border between these two 
are, are a little too thin so I'm gonna go to one of these edges where you see these arrows hold control and bring it down a little bit and using the line tool again I'm gonna center that back that looks about right the sky layer is done I'm gonna add another layer and we're gonna call that layer Sun to add a layer you simply pr plus this plus button inside of the layer palette now with the Sun we want to create another circle holding control you can't see it that's because it's the same color as our previous layer and we'll go over here to the palettes and go to the stroke and fill and we want this fill to be white we'll select it go to the line tool align it horizontally and vertically and you can see that where this logo is really coming or it's, it's really coming to now we have to create that red and white uh, texture let's lock the sun layer now let's unlock the sky layer select the sky and we're gonna right click copy you wanna copy this let's lock back the sky the reason why we're copying this is because the uh, what I call the land which is red and white needs to be the same size as the sky so we'll add another layer now we'll call it land the land is below the sky right now the land and the, the sun is on top of the land we don't want that we want it behind the land so right here is where you can adjust the layers so we'll move the land up by pressing the up arrow now the land goes up and the sun goes below it lock the sun layer now that we're in the land layer we can paste the the sky that we got and now that it's pasted on the screen we can align it horizontally and vertically and now we want a, a better color which is it's more like a red color that color seems about right to me now we're gonna use the um, breezer curves which will allow us to divide this into small segments so we'll st we'll we'll try to go about the middle and we'll click once we're not dragging we just click once hold control to get a uh, straight line and at the end we want to click and hold and bring the that curve to make this line here you can still see that it's still on so we have to press enter and this completes it I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it down a little it's a little high so I selected the selection tool and using the arrows to nudge it now this process will will happen again and again and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with once we've created the line we're gonna select the line and we're gonna select the fill that we just created by holding shift and clicking on them both we'll go to path and we will click on division now it looks like your line went away but if you look closely there is a division line between the two points so if I select the top you can see that it's two different pieces now so I'll delete that now you can kinda see the logo and let's do let's do that process over again where we click once draw the line holding control now we select and hold and we curve it press enter select the line that we just created in the fill and then we press division and let's continue that process
with all the layers divided, we can select each of the alter alternating layers or alternating pieces that we created by holding shift and turning it to white. And there you can see that we have a pretty good looking logo. This is Warp. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Show your support by rating and commenting on my videos. Also, go to my website, onenterflash.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching, On Enter Flash.